And just into the newsroom, Jennifer, Hannahville Indian Community Schools are closed today. We do have a number of closings, and that is all of ahead, of, ahead of what's happening this afternoon. Strong winter storm is on the way, and it's going to bring in some heavy snow as well as some strong winds. We've been talking about it for quite a while now, and we're still on track to getting the worst conditions, at least ramping up this afternoon and evening. But we start to see some snow with this later on this morning across the southern counties. Now, if that low shifts a little bit further west, it means a little bit more snow. If it shifts a little further east, a little less snow. Right now, the track of it is still as such that it is expected to track across the central lower peninsula between today and tomorrow. Precipitation will be wet and heavy initially, and that'll cause slush, and then it becomes powdery with lake effect snow developing tomorrow. Impacts will result in some slushy road conditions, some sloppy conditions, gusts of 35 to 50 miles per hour could also cause some wide out conditions at times tonight into tomorrow. So winter storm warnings will go into effect starting at 10 a.m. this morning for the southern UP. The northern UP will see those counties go into effect this afternoon. All of those will remain in effect through tomorrow evening. Here's that strong area of low pressure in that storm system still over into Missouri, but now bringing in some snow through southern Wisconsin and the central counties of Wisconsin this morning. I mentioned the track is right through the central lower peninsula over the next day to day and a half. Right now, just cloudy out there this morning. Impacts highest to travel. I said a moderate to high risk as by this afternoon, roads will be slushy. And then we also have the potential for some whiteout conditions into tomorrow. Outages will also be a big hazard as well and an impact from those strong winds. Snowfall amounts will stop it at two tomorrow morning so you kind of get that wet snow amount that we are expecting easily around a foot of snow for portions of the west and central counties about a foot and a half in the higher elevations of Barrigo Western Marquette counties. This is 8 a.m. tomorrow. However, we have the lake effect that takes over after that and continues into Sunday. So we'll stop it for Sunday night. This is 11 p.m. Sunday night, so a weekend as a whole range and totals around a foot for our southern counties, about a foot and a half across the western and northern areas of the UP. The highest amounts still projected to be in the highest elevations, the Michigami Highland areas, the Huron Mountain areas, western Marquette County, as well as Barriga counties, where ranges can be around 24 to 26 inches of snow in those places. So a lot of snow coming this weekend and a lot of it accumulating tonight into tomorrow. Here's the hour by hour by late morning. This is 1130 in the morning seeing this wet snow along the Wisconsin state line by five o'clock across the west and the central counties of the UP becoming widespread tonight through tomorrow morning. Here's 7 a.m. Tomorrow throughout the day we start to see it clear across the southern UP but the lake effect taking over in our northern counties. This is 3 p.m. continuing in those areas through the evening. Here's 730. By Sunday morning, most of this lake effect will be tapering off and coming to an end, so certainly improving conditions by that point, but the lake effect bands will shift and become more northwesterly by that point in time into early next week. Winds will start to strengthen to 35 mile per hour wind gusts by this afternoon with ranges of 35 to 45 miles per hour tonight through tomorrow. Gusts pushing around 50 miles per hour by tomorrow morning, and then gusts throughout the day around 35 to 45, decreasing in strength for for tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. The strong winds, the main hazards will result in the potential of some whiteout conditions at times near Lake Superior, as well as some power outages, some down tree limbs and branches, lakeshore beach erosion as well. There's that strong area of low pressure on Sunday in the jet stream with that cold Canadian air filtering in behind that. So 20s today for highs, but with that system bringing in that cold air, we're expecting teens for highs tomorrow and then single numbers this upcoming Sunday for a good portion of the UP and even some single numbers below zero along the Wisconsin state line and across the southern UP. We continue with that very cold air mass into next week with several more bouts of lake effect snow. So very active stretch of weather and some dangerous driving conditions by this afternoon through tomorrow that we have to monitor. All right, and we did just get word that Kearney NATO Schools is also closing today. So be sure to uh, keep a look on the ticker going along the bottom of the screen. You can also go to our website, UpperMichiganStores.com, for the latest closings happening. And 